Welcome to the show. Can you imagine wearing a high fashion bulletproof outfit? A Bogota based company sells protective trench coats, sweaters, leather jackets and blazers along with its more standard fare of bulletproof vests. And as odd as it may sound, the company is now zeroing in on an untapped market, U.S. school children. The new line includes backpacks and jackets that are outfitted with bulletproof plating. It's all intended to stop the slugs from a machine gun. America's Now correspondent Toby Muse reports from Bogota. A gun battle at a popular nightclub in Cali turned deadly. The attack lasted 20 minutes. More than 100 rounds were shot. It's for situations like this that Miguel Caballero started a bulletproof clothing business. These coats will stop a submachine gun. If you've got a target on your back, you'll want Caballero's clothing. The clothes are made here in Caballero's factory, just outside of Bogota. With pieces retailing at up to $4,000, it's no surprise that Caballero caters to those with deep pockets. El comprador que es VIP. The buyer who is a VIP, the head of state, a president of a company, an independent businessman who needs protection. He's dressed presidents around the world, including the president of Ecuador and Colombia. But for reasons of confidentiality and security, he generally refuses to name other clients. <laughs> For Caballero, the fashion has become almost as important as safety. His team of designers create styles for every season. It's a very well-known shirt because ex-president Alvaro Uribe wore it. You can see that this shirt is a very airy, very light, very flexible shirt. And this will give you all the protection of a regular bulletproof jacket. Submachine gun. No me Absolutely no nothing will happen to you. In this photo, you can see former President Alvaro Uribe wearing the Guajavera. Uribe has been a victim of multiple attacks, and his father was killed during a kidnapping attempt. How would you describe the style of Miguel Caballero? Bueno, realmente el estilo de Miguel Caballero hasta hace unos años era algo muy clásico. The style of Miguel Caballero until a few years ago was very classic, but we realized that tastes and fashions had changed. Now we have more modern styles, while still keeping some classic styles for some of our clients. But we've evolved in our styles, and now we have a wide range. You can find jackets, t-shirts, raincoats, elegant shirts, and all of this is designed with our clients in mind. His clients also form a survivor's club, those whose lives have been saved by his clothing. There was once a case in Mexico where criminals took on police who were wearing bulletproof shirts and one policeman received two rifle shots from close range. The bullets were stopped. He's an honorary member of the Survivors Club, surviving military ammunition. The company is constantly inventing new products to offer those who fear for their lives. This briefcase doubles as a bulletproof shield. In response to a series of school shootings in the US, the company received requests for a line of children's clothing. This is a new product that they're selling. It's a mix between a rucksack and a jacket. I guess it's for kids between the ages of five and 12. Right here it says bulletproof. It's a depressing thought that there's a market for bulletproof children's clothing. Products include child-sized armored vests, protective undershirts and backpacks with ballistic protection that can be used as shields. The products cost from $150 to $600, depending on the complexity of their construction. Each piece weighs around two kilos. 
After the Newton shooting, at least three American companies that were already making backpacks designed to shield children reported a spike in sales. Massachusetts-based Bullet Blocker reported it was selling 50 to 100 bulletproof backpacks a day after the shooting. The company started two decades ago at the height of Columbia's drug wars, when massacres were daily, kidnappings frequent, and all feared for their safety. He noticed people had protective clothing, but didn't want to wear it. I started the company 22 years ago as a university project, with the first investment of just $10. I had seen that bodyguards had protection, but weren't using them, and we decided to make fashionable clothes that would protect and look good. Since then, the company has grown hugely. The clothing is packed and sent across the world. Cabajero now has around 600 full and part-time employees making and selling his garments. To see just how successful cabajero has been, this map really tells the story. Each one of these pins is a salesperson or an office. So he starts here in Colombia, spreads all across the Americas, then moves to Europe. So there's salespeople offices in Spain, Italy, France, keeps going. It's Nigeria, Russia, China, even in Australia. Cabajero also tries to hire those who need jobs most. And around Bogota, it's single mothers. Marta Villanuevo is a 41-year-old mother of four. I understand Miguel Caballero has a policy of hiring single mothers. I've also heard that they try to hire the elderly, those who are handicapped, who don't have hearing or vision or can't speak, or single mothers. With clients literally putting their lives in Caballero's hands, there's constant testing of the product. And it's here in the lab where the clothing takes a real beating. The bulletproof material is made up of a mix of nylon and polyesters. But Caballero is reluctant to reveal much more about his trade secrets. The clothing is produced to block bullets from submachine guns, 9mm pistols, and even Magnum 44s. Only the plates inside the clothing, like this one, stop the bullets. But these plates protect the vital organs, and most trained shooters are taught to aim for the chest. You can see here just how powerful the shot of a submachine gun is. There's six shots, but the bullet never went through once. You can see the impact. It will leave bruises as it stops the bullet, but the important thing is a bullet is not getting through this. This is what a taser charge will do to your body. And now I'm gonna get tasered with 50,000 volts. This is amazing. This is the new material that they're working on. It's against electric shocks. And really that 50,000 volts, I didn't feel a thing. Then it was my turn to be a crash test dummy. Cabajero would shoot me. But before we can go any further, they've asked me to sign this release form that says if I'm injured or killed, it's all my responsibility. Well, now it's time. Right, so this is it. I'm just about to be shot. I hope this works. Let's go ahead, Tito. I have a question for you. How many accidents have you had? Never one in 22 plus years. I'd like to hear that. Of course. It's amazing. What you feel is like a really heavy tap, but that's it. And this is something that just stopped a bullet going straight through into my belly. This, the bullet's still in here. So this is the bullet that got stopped. 
It's still warm. And that's the cabageiro philosophy. As the world remains a dangerous place, at least you can still be stylish. Our thanks to Toby Muse for that report. About 300 of the children's backpacks have been sold in Denver by Caballero's distributor in the United States. The cost? Just under $300. Coming up. The drama of thousands of children that are crossing the border by themselves. And Honduras is by far the largest. And what's happening there is we're seeing a huge increase in the number of people who report violence as the reason. America's Next.